What's going on? Uh, welcome to the Cleveland Cage. We're in our little indoor facility. We got our weight room. We got a little bit of that. We got our pullback net and we're hooking up some science. I'm the old man dad, Cam Cleveland. This is, introduce yourself. Trainer Cleveland. Trainer Cleveland. How old are you, Trainer? Okay, and you're playing baseball this year. You're 12 years old. You're playing on two different teams. What, you're playing what? I'm playing a tournament ball team in Little League. Tournament ball team in Little League. And what does that mean, folks? It means we gotta have a lot of bats. So we're also doing a science project this year, and what are we working on our science project? We're going to see which type of bat is most safe for loading for the exit ball speed or right. the velocity of the bat. Velocity of the bat, ball speed. Okay, so we're going to be using two. His uh, science teacher gave us a Louisville bat. Now I think it's about 32, 33 inches. That's the one he wanted him to use. So because I don't have a wood bat uh, for his little league this year, we're using a Louisville. 618 solo okay and that's a drop 11 that sucker is 31 inches okay drop 11 really good bat for the usa and then for his tournament we're using a u triple sa easton beast that is also 31 inches and ounce wise well you should be paying more attention that is a drop 10 so we're 21 so with a drop 11 just an ounce difference change we're going to check out where we'll be using just regular, okay, Little League, standard baseballs, all by Wilson. And that's what we're doing, we're hitting off the tee, but we're gonna use our measure. We're gonna be using the pocket radar, ball coach. We're gonna hit a couple here. Now he's gonna go after these a little bit. It's not like these are gonna be weak swings, but he's 12, so you might screw up a little bit, right? Is that okay? It's okay if you miss a few. Are you gonna be perfect? Why are you gonna be perfect? Oh, because it's human error. Oh, that's right, it's science. All right, I like science. Bats and all sorts of fun stuff. Here, let me get set. Old man's gotta get set up, let me get set up here. Okay, take some time. All right, we're here in the cage. We do a lot of, put a lot of work in this cage because it's cold up in here in Vancouver, Washington, which is just outside of Portland. Hopefully we get a baseball team soon. Okay, right, Portland, pros, MLB, yeah, baby. But we're Mariner fans, because that's, that's what we are, we're Mariner fans. All right, here we go. This is the wood bat, 33 inches, Louisville. Make sure you hit it on the, on the grain. Let's get after this. Okay, let's take some good hacks. Here we go, ball one. 60 miles an hour. Now don't get worried if you don't hit them solid, but we're trying to get, this is a good swing, so we're trying to hit this ball hard, like we would in a game. Okay. 63. Now this might bat probably a little bit long for him. Uh, you know, probably and, and quite a bit heavier for certain. Okay, 59, that's not the greatest sounding hit. Again, no, let's hit another one. Come on, let's hit another one. Okay, we wanna get some good data so we actually hit a good solid strike, choke up a little bit. Okay. We'll pop up again, 59. Not getting any better here, Slick. I'm 12 years old, I can put pressure on him. Be psycho dad, right? crazy dad, yelling from the sidelines. There we go, that was a good one, 62. All right, so what bat are we switching to now, trainer? We're going to 618 solo, drop 11. Drop 11, 31 inch. This is gonna be his little league bat because he's a 12 year old, this is his last year of eligible little league. Do a little bit of both. Move the tee, tee's too far forward. Move it back. Too far forward. Okay. All right, use some legs. Let's go get it. 64. Good. Okay, 64. So already you can see about two mile an hour difference between the two, one in there. Let's get a solid. Of course, this is a 31 inch bat, so he's gonna have more bat speed. Okay, pa 65. Go get it. Okay, 63, one more. Remember, shoulders closed and impact. That's a good feeling. That way we don't pull off the ball. Good extension through the ball. And 63, okay, good. All right, let's go to U Triple SA. This is the Easting Beast. So different metal, different sound. It's supposed to be great for tournament ball. 50, 70 is what he'll be playing this year. Pull the tee back a little bit. Okay, good. All right, here we go. Let's take a look. 
already a different sound. There's 69 miles an hour. Yep. Here we go. Good. 66 miles an hour. Now, what'd you get last night? 70. You got 70. Oh, don't try to hit it too hard now. You don't want to fall down. Vlad Guerrero. Oh, my goodness. The pop up to the pitcher. What the heck was that? <laughs> there you go. Solid hit, solid strike, shoulders. There you go. 68, uno mas. See what you got. We won't end on 62. Let's go ooh, one more. He's trying to hit it too hard, folks. I didn't hit it too hard. And 67, all good swings. All right, so what we got to see is certainly the metal changes. Uh, certainly, what else, some of the things that you felt differently from the bats? Weight difference, of course. Yeah. The wood. And what's kind of your hypothesis you want to try to show, improve? That the USA bat is not safe enough for the Little League Baseball. All right. And also, I was wondering if a metal bat could be used in MLB baseball to see if the USA bat acts like the wood bat so they can stop wasting wood and stop breaking bats and maybe just mm -hmm. save more money just okay. making metal bats. Hmm. Can we imagine major leaguers with metal bats if they performed like wood? Hmm, I don't know. Potentially. All right. That is it from the Cleveland Cage. We'll be back with more, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, that's what we do. Peace out. See you later.